All right, guys, so today we're going to go through 10 add-ons that you absolutely need to get in Wrath of the Lich King. I definitely would not be playing this game without these add-ons installed. They really do provide really, really good quality of life improvements when playing the game, no matter what you're doing, leveling, raiding, PvP. Let's jump in straight away. One of the very, very irritating things about downloading multiple add-ons is they totally clump your mini-map. As you can see, I have a number of add-ons downloaded, and my money map is clean AF. No icons around it. And that's going to lead me onto my first add-on of this list. It's called Hiding Bar. If you look very closely, I've got a little yellow bar. If I hover over it, it's going to show all of my add-ons in a little drop-down menu like this. And you can put this little bar wherever you want. You can have it up coming up for screen. You can have it going across for screen. Point being, it doesn't really like make your minimap look like a cluttered mess. All I've got here is tracking and the calendar. And the add-on that I'm using for my map is very simply called Sexy Map and it has loads of inbuilt skins like this nice wooden frame one thing. One I was using before is the Diablo one. Here's another cool one that gives me Lord of the Rings vibes as well. Now the add-on that you can see up here, many people can believe that this is actually Titan Panel because Titan Panel is a big ugly bar that you normally get at the bottom of the screen when you install the add-on but there is a way to make it look super clean like this. What we've got to do is show it about the top, or if you do want it at the bottom or anywhere else, then you can also do that. I mean, just go to your transparency here, top bar, turn it down. So this is what it normally looks like, like Titan Panel, it is very ugly. But if you just take it down, you're fine. And this is gonna tell you any information that you want. At the minute, I've got gold. Uh, I also actually do use this as my bag button and it's durability, my performance. I've also got Titan, sorry, another add-on here called Item Rack, where I switch certain gear sets, you know, between my tank set or my farming set, or totally uh, butt naked if I want to, if I want to die, you know, without incurring durability. It's got other useful built-ins as well. There's a thing that tracks how much ammo you got. There's a little plugin that you can also download to track your reagents, which I do like. And you can actually just put any add-on on here as well. So if you want quick access, to something also like a list loot or something you can just access it from there although you've got to obviously move it away from the minimap because you can't see it yeah this add-on is called item rack where you can switch sets from that menu as well but also it will be on your character menu so i can very quickly equip my gear from here too it's very useful because it means you don't have to like navigate your bags and find things because obviously sometimes it is quite difficult to find gear in your bags when you've got a lot in your bags it's very quickly use this little menu to equip or de-equip gear or swap your trinkets or anything like that. All right, so next we've got to talk about nameplates. What I'm using is Plater with a particular profile. It's a Mythic Plus profile. I'll leave that link in the description as well. And I'm also using Big Debuff. The main reason for that is you see, well, you can see what debuffs that you want, just slightly bigger. So let me show you with my Chains of Ice. So I can see Chains of Ice just a little bit bigger. And that's mainly going to work on crowd control effects and actually immunities. So when an enemy uses Divine Shield or anything on those lines, then it will be displayed bigger above the nameplate. Now I want to show you two really good chat add-ons, which are an absolute godsend. First of all, a spell checker add-on and another one that's going to copy links when you see them in the chat. So, you know, when you have to join a Discord for a pug, massively streamlines that process. You don't have to manually type in letters onto Discord like a caveman. So, first of all, this is the spell checker one. Let's deliberately spell something wrong. And as you can see, it's going to be a different color. You right click it, and there you go. There's the correct spelling. And as you can see, we've got a Discord link in the chat box right now. You click it, it's going to open this menu, and from here, you can just copy paste it into Discord, and it will work with any other link as well. By the way, guys, if you subscribe to the channel, we've got a little bit of a subscriber only guide that gives you more specific weak auras and add ons for every single class in the game. So be sure to check that out. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, go to my subscriber video. If you can't see it, then YouTube is being crap. All you have to do is just request access for it on my Discord, which is also in the description. Now, when it comes to unit frames, you've got a number of different options. You don't have to be dictated by what I have. Personally, I have Pitbull. I like the look of it. It's nice and it's clean. And I definitely like the customizability of it. Other good options are things like Shadow UI. Shadow UI is not, not too bad. 
You've also got easy frames. I used easy frames for quite a while actually. This one's very nice and clean and it keeps the old retro look of the old UI. Just for the love of God, don't get something like x -Pearl, especially if you record your footage or you stream because you're, yeah, you're going to get absolutely memed on. You can get an overhaul add-on, obviously like LVY. It's alright. I just don't like the unit frames that much. I know they're very customizable, but my, I, I just don't like it that much. A lot of people really love it. And it, just bear in mind that it is a total overhaul add-on, so it's going to like get rid of a lot of other things with the default Blizzard UI. And it, you definitely have absolutely no retro classic wow look left when you download this i mean you can that uninstall certain features from it but yeah just just bear in mind check it out check out you know people who use it before you decide to get it because in my experience you know i've downloaded it and been like nah it's not for me now let's talk about map and questing add-ons i've talked about these add-ons before actually quite recently i'm going to be talking about liatrix maps and codex light so the great thing about Liatrix is mainly that, first of all, you can see undiscovered locations on the map in a colour like this, so you can see where things are, rather than being them totally greyed out. And you can have a little bit of zoom, so you know I can zoom in on locations and get a better look at things. And it goes very, very well with the add-on Codex Light, because it shows very, very precise spawn locations of enemies and quest items I have to pick up from the ground. And if you're struggling to see them clearly, you can just click on them to change the colour. You can also opt for the map to not be a total full screen map, but as you can see, it kind of has issues with overlaying, which I actually honestly do not know how to fix. Let me know in the comment section if you do, because yeah, my unit frames for some reason go over the map, which is very irritating, so I don't use it like that. And you can also make the map with the settings actually zoom in even further to get a, you know, even better look. All you have to do is type in slash LTM and you got the settings here. Now the next add-on is absolutely mandatory if you're leveling through dungeons or doing some kind of gold farm when you're doing dungeons. It's called Nova Instance Tracker. What it does is just tracks how many instances you've been in. And it'll even track like way back, like it's even tracking like 9, 19 days ago here. So I can see what dungeon I was in 19 days ago. But the main reason you get this is so you can track whether you're going to be saved or not on your hour lockout. It will also show you your alts as well. And it will even show you battlegrounds too. And it will also track how much rested XP you have on your characters. So it's showing me that I've like maxed out my rested XP on a number of my different characters. So then you can track when obviously you are going to start capping on your rested XP. As I can see there, my Warlock is about to cap on rested XP. And I'm leveling that Warlock basically when I'm rested. I'm not only leveling that when I'm rested. So that is a very... Useful feature that not many people know about and um, that's actually included with this add-on. And the last cheeky add-on we're going to talk about today is Speedy Auto Loot. Basically does what it says on the tin. It's very, very good if you're doing gold farming and you've killed loads and loads of mobs because you literally just have to like spam click, right? And you will loot everything much, much faster because it's going to automatically complete the dialogue menu so it's even faster than using the auto loot feature in-game. And my last quick fire recommendations are going to be add-ons, which I just presume people already have. You know, weak auras, bartender, deadly boss modes. If you're wondering what on earth these panels are here, it's called KG panels. The reason why I'm not going to recommend this add-on vote is because it's basically not up to date. So you may have issues with it because it's only working on retail. I've managed to make it work on classic somehow. Don't ask me how. The reason why I'm not recommending it is because yeah, I don't want you to have issues and complain at me or anything like that. But yeah, it's called KG Panels. I like it because it just keeps things nice and neat and clean. But anyway, guys, my name is Matt Goblin. To my next video, ciao.